Grace and peace. Hi, this is Minister KMC, um, as known as well known as Prophetess K, Minister K um, of ShreddingTruthMinistry dot com on YouTube, and I'm also present on Facebook and our website. And I just want to thank the Most High today, um, just for this opportunity to do this periscope. I do not periscope at all. I only did maybe one and I purposed in my heart that I would maybe jump on the bandwagon and begin to share whatever it is that God has put up on my heart. And it just seems like in this time in my life, it seems like the same, um, whether it's been reoccurring situations with relationships and God is just dealing with me about trust in this season, that it's so important to trust him because it's about to get crazy. <laughs> it's about to get crazy as you, especially those that are believers, shout out to each and every one of you. I can't see you because I have to turn my phone. I don't, I, I'm not able to navigate this process as of yet. If I can figure out how to adjust my phone where I can actually see people, I will be more than happy to acknowledge everyone that might be on this periscope or not. But I just thank the most high again for just another opportunity to share with the people. It's going to be brief, but I want to talk about trust on today because it's about to get crazy. And the reason why I say that is because the closer that we get to God, the closer that we get to his promises, the closer that we get to being in alignment with his will, I mean, with his word, the closer that we get to him, the, the, it seems like the, the environment around us responds to that. And what I mean by that is that the enemy, he knows you know, that we're getting close. He knows that, you know, our, our, our redemption draweth nigh. He knows that, you know, we're about to get that breakthrough. We're about to get, you know, to that point of, of that manifestation that, that has been withheld because we haven't been in alignment. Now we're getting in alignment. So we're closer to the manifestation. We're, we're hallelujah. We're closer to the gifts of God. We're closer to the higher heights, the deeper depths. And so it begins to get crazy all in your environment, in your life in your relationships with family, with friends, people that you thought, you know, would have your back, people that you thought that would be there during the time of elevation. It seems like they just, it's, it's just getting crazy. It seems like it's just, they don't understand things anymore. It seems like the enemy <clears throat> begins to <clears throat> whisper things to their ear. He begins to because he is the accuser of the brethren. He begins to stir up strife. He begins to just mess, just mess. And so when it gets crazy, your level of trust with God has to be at the level where it should so that you don't forfeit what he's trying to get to you. And you don't, you don't lose what he's trying to give to you and that you can receive the manifestation in your life uh, and get to that place where you should be. And so I just want to encourage you. It's about to get crazy, but you have to trust God. And you have to trust God by believing in his holy word. You have to trust his word. You have to trust. And it's difficult because our trust level has been established since we were young with our, it starts out with our relationships in our home. It, it, it starts with, with our family. It starts with our parents. And when that trust has been broken or there hasn't been um, just any kind of normalcy established with our parents, which, which again, were the people that we looked up to, our leaders, people that nourished, um, that took care of us, that nourished us, that fed us, that clothed us, um, you know, that protected us. If that trust was violated, if that truck was trust was broken in the spirit um, relationship with God, when we meet God, when we get to know God, when we're introduced to God, when we establish a relationship with God, that component becomes a little bit impaired. And that's what the enemy's job um, was all along. He wanted to create a level of chaos in your life so that he, well, see, you know, one of the things that the enemy does have a foreknowing because he is an ancient spirit, uh, because he, he's been dealing with mankind for so long, he, he pretty much got us down to a science. And so he messes up our childhood and such and things of that nature so that it, it, it negatively impacts our relationship with God. It can if we allow it to. But if we're cognizant of the fact that our relationships are a little bit skewed and a little bit messed up and a little bit dysfunctional. If we acknowledge that and we, and we present that to the father, you know, I, I'm having a problem trusting you because all the relationships that I've known have been messed up. 
and we let him know that and he will deal with us. He will help us through this time, through the season, because he wants us to get to that place where he desired for us to go. And if, if it is about, again, a previous relationships being messed up and our history, if that's what's preventing us from getting to that place that he desires for us to go and we acknowledge it and we're working on it and we begin to denounce some things and we begin to release some things and we begin to heal some people and we begin to forgive ourselves, heal ourselves, forgive people, get healing for ourselves. Um, and then God will take us to the next level. So God bless you. It's important that you trust because it's about to get crazy. If it's not crazy now, and I'm talking about those that are really seeking him. I mean, you're plowing, I Hallelujah. In faith, you're plowing in the spirit. I mean, you're reading God's word. You're consecrating yourself. You're before his presence. Um, you, you know, you're constantly asking him to order your steps. You're aligning yourself to the word. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking about people that are wishy-washy. I'm not talking about people that are got a side relationship. God is a side chick. God is a side dude. He's not the main thing in your life. I'm talking about people that God is first and you're, you're striving to please him. It's about to get crazy. And so since it's about to get crazy, if it haven't already started getting crazy, like my life, <laughs> it's already started getting crazy. All right. It's important that we trust God because God knows what he's doing and he's working some things out of you. So my prayer for you, hallelujah, is that you would allow God to have his way. Even though it's crazy or it's about to get crazy, trust him. Trust him. He knows what he's doing and he's allowing it to be because he's working some things out of you. And you may say, well, you know, why is it that these things got to happen in order for things to be worked out? Because of it takes a process to work these things out. You're talking about the, the flesh, the works of the flesh from the time of Adam, from the time of Eve, the, you know, the flesh being, you know, we born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Some of these things got to be worked out so that we can be at a spiritual place where God can trust us and that he can gift us the more and, or, and, and anoint us the more so that we can be humble and do his will. So God bless you. That's all I wanted to share. I don't even know if this thing is on or not. <laughs> but I love you all with the love of Yahshua Jesus the Christ. Trust him in the season and don't get it twisted. Though it may be crazy, everything is in order because it's according to God's will. God bless until next time. Shalom.